Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for a few tips and tricks uh, on the recent Laguna 1216 I bought and, and some storage tips and, and a few other things to share with you. Uh, testing, testing. Not working. Didn't turn it on. <laughs> Little Rip Marsh humor. <laughs> so let's get started. <clears throat> Let's start with a hand, hand wheel video I did recently. Uh, what I found is the uh, grub screws tend to vibrate loose, so use a little thread locker in there to secure both of them. Otherwise, uh, this, this may not hold as, as well as we expected to. The Laguna has a nice spindle lock. You have to uh, hold it down to secure it. Uh, Tim Robertson, a subscriber, uh, sent me this nice little attachment he made using a 3D printer and a couple of rare earth magnets uh, so it will fit in this this recess and the magnet holds it down how cool is that thanks very much Tim I appreciate it I know I get a lot of use out of that when I made my displaced uh, my lathe card I didn't think about how I would necessarily store the uh, knockout bar but I found that, that if I use a uh, large uh, screw eye that holds it just just great. Another little tip uh, I find having a large uh, ruler of some some type on your lathe bed or mounted on your lathe uh, can be very helpful so I use double stick uh, tape to fasten down this uh, yardstick and I'll find it's very heavy, yeah, very handy to just put blanks against to, to measure. I made the drawer inside of the drawer about three and three eighths of an inch. I wish I had made it about three and three quarters of an inch so it'd hold a hold a chuck. Uh, but so I'll just have to store that chuck, I guess, down here in the cabinet. I added this IKEA light that I I had been using on my old drill press. Uh, the new drill press that I I got uh, recently has its own light source, so I didn't need it. Uh, so I've got one more electrical device. So what I decided to do is add an electrical plug. Uh, I thought about the possibility of adding a box and cutting a hole down here below the drawers, of course, to mount this uh, and put a duplex uh, switch uh, plugs plugs in here, but I decided that was more work than than I, than was necessary. And I had an extra an old power strip, so I decided just to mount the power strip uh, on the side there. To some extent, it's it's protected uh, by this uh, wood base that sticks out beyond it. Uh, it also allows me extra plugs if I want to plug in another device such as a Dremel or, or something of that type. And it's got an on-off switch so I can shut down the power completely when I leave the, leave the shop. Don't have to worry about electrical uh, a uh, electrical storm in the summertime with a lightning strike coming in and perhaps burning something up. I'm fortunate enough to have several uh, different chucks with different jaws on it and I found occasional need for using a different jaw set. Uh, unfortunately, they're all uh, threaded for one and a quarter inch for my Powermatic. But what I what I found very convenient to use is I have this one and a quarter to one inch adapter uh, that came with my collet chuck system, so I can easily adapt these uh, these chucks for one time projects. And this this doesn't project out uh, nearly as far as a normal spindle adapter. Uh, but when I want to take it off, what I find is I need to use a uh, some type of wrench if I want to keep the adapter. So I found this uh, slip lock wrench that I use works real well for being able to take the uh, the chuck off and leave the adapter leave the adapter on. I'm finding for uh, most of my spindle projects that I'm having to turn that I'm using a chuck chuck for that the handle is extending and bumps into the tailstock, so I'm having to remove the tailstock far more than I, I would on my Pyromatic with a with a bigger distance between between centers. So I'm having to, to move it uh, and set it over here on my uh, table saw, which is fairly convenient, uh, far more convenient than uh, lifting it up and down off the floor. But I think what it's driving me toward is I'll probably have to look at 
buying that 10 inch extension to keep from having to move that tailstock uh, so so often. And a tip I use on my Powermatic all the time is uh, you take a pencil, take a rare earth magnet, uh, wrap it with some uh, electrical tape and it makes it real easy to stick on your lathe so you've always got a pencil handy. Okay, if you watched it this long, you must like it, so give it a give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing so you won't miss and and hit the uh, bell note so you won't miss any uh, notifications for future videos. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.